Coming up in this video, how to make a DV tripod audio module. This video is part of a five-part mini-series on how to customize the DV audio module. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me show you what the end result is going to be. In this quick tip, we're going to be designing a tripod audio module that includes a space for an audio player, a short bio, and a call to action button in case you want to direct your visitors to either iTunes or Google Play. In order to achieve this design, we're going to need three assets. The first one is a background image with dimensions of 1920 by 1221 pixels. We're also going to need some CSS code. Now, this can be found in the blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. And then finally, you're going to need your audio file. And this needs to be an MP3 because any other format will not work. Without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to get this design. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a new page. So I'm just going to click on add new and we're going to call this page audio five. I want to click on use the DV builder. And first things first, we need to add our background image. So I'm going to go to the section settings and I'm going to click on upload an image. I have my image in the media library. So I'm just going to go ahead, click it and set it as a background. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to click on save and exit. Next, we're going to need to add some columns. So here we're going to need three columns. So I'm going to click insert. And then these columns need to be the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. So the first module is going to be our audio module. So for now, I'm not going to add anything yet. So the next one is going to be a text module. And again, I'm not going to add anything. And then finally, we're going to have a call to action module. OK, pretty cool. So what we need to do next is to go into the row settings and make some, ch some changes. So the first thing we need to do here is to make this full width. And then we need to go into the advanced design settings, scroll all the way down until we find equalize column heights and then set it to yes. This option is very important because when we add information to these columns, we need to make sure that the final result is all of them have equal height. It just looks beautiful. Next, what we need to do is to add some background colors to these column backgrounds. So we're going to start off with column one. So I'm going to click on the color. So I'm going to paste my color right in here. And I'm going to do the same for column two and column three. Now, bear in mind, these need to have the same colors. So we just need to repeat this process. So now that we have all our colors in place, next we need to add some rounded corners onto these columns. So what we need to do is to scroll all the way down until we find column one main element and paste the CSS code in there. So this code just makes sure that we have a border radius of five pixels. So now we need to find the column two main element and do the same and do the same for column three two. Okay, now that we have all these settings in place, we can go ahead now and click on save and exit. Now it's time to add content onto our module. So let's start off with the audio module. So I'm gonna go into the settings and then under the audio, I'm going to upload my audio file, which is already in my media library. And I'm going to set that as the audio for that module. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the title, the artist name and album name. So here in the advanced design settings, we need to make sure that the background color is set to transparent. So you can see here, I've just pulled my sliders all the way down to the bottom. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because by default, the audio player comes with a color, so we need to make sure that um, this is set to transparent. Next, the title font, I've just changed that to covered by grace, because that's the font we need to go with. And I've also changed the font size to 31. And then if you scroll all the way down, I've also added some custom margin of 30 pixels so that our player is centered properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and exit. Now let's go into the text module settings. Now here, all you have to do is just to make sure that you type in the message that you want and then set the text orientation to center 
and then the text color needs to set to be set to light. Next, we need to go into the advanced design settings. And then here, all we need to do is to add a custom margin to the top of 20 pixels, 20 pixels to the bottom, and then 50 right and left. On the text font, we just need to make sure that um, it's all in caps. And then once you're done with that, we need to click on save and exit. Finally, we need to add the settings to the call to action. So I'm going to click on the module settings. And then here, you just need to add the title. So here I've got my title. The button URL, obviously, this needs to go to your Google Play or your iTunes. But for now, we're just going to add a blank link. And then on the button text, I've just added download now. Use background color. I've selected yes. And then what we need to do here as well is to make sure that this is set to transparent. Okay, and then if you scroll all the way down here, this is where we add our content. So I've just added this in place. Next, we need to go into advanced design settings. The header font, we just matched the font we had on our audio player and the font is called Covered by Your Grace. Scroll all the way down and make sure you add custom margin top. This just gives this some breathing space. And then finally, we need to customize the button. So on use custom styles for button, normally it's set to no. So you just need to activate that, make it yes. And then you need to add the icon. So the icon, the button icon I've chosen here on hover is this uh, music note. So once we have that, all I need to do now is to save and exit. So I think we have all the elements that we need to make this design work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on update. And we're going to do a quick preview and see. So I'm going to click on view page. And there you have it. We can see that uh, all the settings that we had in the beginning, which are the rounded corners, are all working fine. And we also have this transparency, which we added in each of these columns. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon. Perfect. Was it recording? Yes, this time it was recording.